Animal free and Hey, what's this? Hey, what's that? Who did this come from? Who did this come from? Bob? Maybe our friend who? 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 Maybe our friend Bob? Black dog Bob! Oh. <laughs> Put this up! Huh, Robbie? See? Exactly. Exactly. Our eldest Lily is at school right now. I just dropped her off when I got home. I found this waiting at the doorstep. Just for the record, my mailman blew out his shoulder. I'm sure it has nothing to do with my MRE addiction. I'm sure it... Oh, yes. Hold on, let's look at it. Oh, B2. Black Dog Surplus. Adventure Pack. Whoa, no way. It's Black Dog's own custom MRE pouch. Oh, these are amazing. I saw um, Gundog review a version, the first version that came out of this. No. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. We got a V1 and a V2. He's coming out with two uh, vegetarian, I'm assuming. Vegetables and rice. There is gum in there. I know Penny loves the gum. <laughs> you think? Yeah, you can have the gum that's in here. Yay! Hey, Robbie, are you hungry? Do you want to open it now? You know what? I think we're going to save these, and we're going to have a date night tonight. Sound good, Penny? Yeah. All right, let's do it. High five. Let's open that. This. Animal free and Mari. Animal free and Mari. Laura's my favorite. I can't resist. So we're just going ahead and starting right up. This is Ben. Candy. And we're here to do to review some brand new 2018 MREs. It's true. It's never true. be seen, never before seen on the market Revealed ever. Revealed tonight for you, Wait, ladies and gentlemen, on our date night, which our toddler has already been up three times. So three times. <laughs> that know, last time, sleep. put her out. Daddy's gonna spank you. <laughs> <laughs> spank you with love and kind words. Yes. Affirmations. Put this coffee on and get into these MREs that our dear friend Bob sent us. Bob's oh. right. Shh. Shh. I don't wake the kids up. I'm just jinxing myself right there. Yeah, jinxing. What, are you, what are you thinking? I have, a, I have a rule in the workman house. There is no whistling in the house. It's true. It's horrible. It's horrible. The three-year-old learned how to whistle very, very young. Hey, if you guys go to MREinfo.com, look for a workman MRE. That's me. And? Hey, Frosting. Yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, this is some amazing, I think, Colombian coffee? Instant coffee that our friend La Suede sent us. Mm, thank you so much. You're the man, buddy. Cheers. That is really good. I love that stuff. Mm, I just love any coffee, really. It could be horrible. I'd still drink it. You would, but you would complain. Oh, a lot. I would. It's no, true. not too much. You're, you're wonderful. I'd go on. Shush. <laughs> I'd go on. I do. I do. Hey, uh, we're, we're stalling. I'm sorry. We just we just got the kids to bed. It's kind of like weird. We have this quiet zone in the house. There's like nothing going on. You could hear a needle drop on the side of the house right now. It's strange. I think we're both expecting anyone to, sh to shriek. <laughs> Moments notice. <gasps> what is this? Oh, turn that around. <laughs> what do we have? Black dog surplus. Black Dog Surplus is our good friend, Black Dog Bob from MREinfo.com. He also does Black Dog Surplus, and he's affiliated with um, CustomMRE.com. These guys are amazing. You can build anything you want. Look at that. You can completely customize these packages. Uh, the, the meal is ready to eat in there, and it's in date. Brand new. The best you can Not just in date or in new. The, the 
date of inspection is on 2018. I mean, this is like this month this thing was produced. And probably even this last week it was put in the bag and shipped to us. These are as fresh as they get. As fresh as they come. I'm super excited. Yeah, I got to admit, I'm a little too excited. I, I tapped into V1 with the kids today. Here's a clip. Oh! You're talking about your MRE penny? I like to have a gun. You like to have a gum? Yes. So let's open this MRE inside. Whoa. Whoa, there's way more no. stuff in here than a regular MRE. Oh, meal cookies, these are so good. There's so much going on here, I don't even know what, know what happened. Oh, look it. It's not even gum, it's candy. Ooh. And we're back. Wasn't that nice? Yeah, so we got into the oatmeal cookies, we got into the candy, and we got into the fruit mix, which I ate the majority of. It was awesome. So my meal, the V1 here, I'll have that one. will be a little light, and candy can dip into the V2. Ooh, look at me. And as you saw in the other video, there was a menu and some other items in here, and we'll go into more detail on what those are at this point. Okay, mine was really easy to open. Do you want to try popping yours? You don't need a knife or anything. I don't know. After the last time, that was a bit of an embarrassment. See, they've always been difficult. These are perfectly sealed, but watch how easy it is. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, it's always kind of a letdown. You can't <clears throat> open a jar. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot honey, of stuff in this. Honey crystals. Oh, there's a lot of small stuff, and I like that we've got our, our menu here. Mashed potatoes. I'll see that one. I'll lay my That's stuff awesome. out here. I'll try to move along quickly because I know we do end up being really long. Sweet corn. Mm, nice. Mashed potatoes and sweet corn so far. Holy bread. Okay. And all this, I'm sure some of these components were produced very recently also. Oh, what is this? That is awesome. Pizza spice, oregano, basil, marjoram, garlic, thyme, crushed red pepper, savory. Hmm. So just a kind of an all-around spice packet. Very cool. To, to, to add things up. Oh, no, cookies. So good. Chunky peanut butter. Uh, lemonade flavored mix. Corn nuts. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, it's better than some corn nuts. We got those in the Workman MRE. Those were super good. Those were one of my favorite parts of it. Honey crystals. I'm really excited about this. And uh, it looks like we have some candy Smarties hot sauce in there. Some moist palettes. And as well as some tablets here. Did you read that from me? Yeah, these tablets are amazing. They're 24 hour servings. There's 12 tablets. The ingredients. Here, I'll wait till that crinkle stops. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Not a very tactical wrapper there, but this is more of a sibling. Anyway. It's all good. It's all good. 24 hour serving, uh, 12 tablets. The ingredients are 25% fat, 9% protein, 58% carbohydrates, iron 18 milligrams, and 2% from milk solids. Wow, this is like. Pretty tough, and, and we tried these before. They taste like malted milk. They're pretty amazing. We'll get some pictures of these and let y'all get a good look at them later. Ooh, hot sauce. I love that. There's coffee, creamer, sugar, uh, salt, and pepper as well. I need to remember to speak up. I know this that on the on the last date night. I mumble. We I got, mumble. We, in the, the, we got the microphone right here, guys. But, uh, so I'll try to remember to speak up and to not slouch. I'm totally not pinching her under the table. <sighs> or have to have been out, edit a bunch uh, out of me swearing. That's all right. It's kind of fun. Okay. I want to get into this one again. I want to open it again. I Sometimes I'll open MREs and I'll see what's inside and I'll put it back in there and I'll seal them back up and I'll like wait later that day and look at them again and I'm totally surprised the second time too. I'm ridiculous. I do that to the kids. They don't know. You put, you put something away and you put it back in the box and you're like, hey! <laughs> 
So I have very similar components to candies, but I believe I have a white bread. I got some soy sauce, some hot sauce, wet white, sugar, salt pepper, crystallized sugar, the creamer, and the coffee. Yeah, ours are fairly similar. You got the V1 and I got the V2, correct? Mm -hmm. I see yours has, uh, I think, just three three different components that are that are different, that are interchangeable there. Yeah, I got the white bread and two different entrees. Basically, the only difference. She had the corn nuts and I had the fruit mix. I'm jealous. I love the corn nuts. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll share. Maybe I won't. But I did eat the majority of the fruit mix. The kids were like... Mm, we we like fresh fruit and vegetables. We're spoiled rat Don't. It's okay. Where right. were we? Instant white rice. My boy Robbie ripped onto that wrapper a bit, but um, eight ounces of boiling water. Let it stand ten minutes, and this becomes white rice. What? I'm really excited to see how this turns out because you did ask for it in your shout out in our last night. In the night. white rice challenge. Mm -hmm. Challenge. Challenge. <laughs> so, uh, I'm excited to see if it lives up to your expectations. Especially with some, with, with some mixed vegetables in there. Ooh. I wonder what kind of vegetables may I see? Oh, please. I'm very curious about that. Oh, let's see. Green beans, sweet peas, a sweet corn, broccoli, and mushrooms. <laughs> I'm excited to see how the mushrooms come out. Yeah, you know, yeah. well, this, this could be the beginning of so many different combinations too. I mean, rice and vegetables, there's infinite combinations with that. Add legumes to this, add some other different kind of proteins or TVPs or tofus or whatever kind of crazy mm -hmm. crap you want to throw in the vegetarian dishes. Mm -hmm. Super fun. You know, one thing I'd love to see in an MRE one of these days is a, uh, a hummus or some kind of like spread, like another spread besides peanut butter. Peanut butter is awesome uh, and I love it. A guacamole would be amazing. That would be cool. Like a powdered guac that you had water to or something. Something. I yeah. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. We yeah. eat peanut butter every single day, literally. But it's, you know, very uh, options are good. Sauces are king when it comes to vegan and vegetarian food. You're lacking a lot of the fats and heavy proteins that uh, omnivores eat. So it's cool to have sauces and spreads and spice packs and all this cool stuff. I know, I want to get into it. I want to start eating. Can we get this on a plate? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to you wanna do all that, or what do you want to do? Should we both click it? Yeah, let's click it. Hey, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Magic. All right. Uh, so we're pleated up. We're good to go. Look at that. Look at all that good stuff. Oh. Mine, mine is a little bit on the lighter side, because, again, I eat the cookies, the fruit mix, and the little candy. The kids. What can you say? <laughs> they enjoyed this thing. We love them, they're rad. Um, so let's get this on uh, all out. All right, and again, we're just going to go ahead and skip time and do another little pow to skip all that and get to the unraveling. Uh, we will have to get some hot water, which we have ready to go in our thermos here, and we're going to mm -hmm. let these sit for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And after the 10 minutes, all of it will help hit the uh, plate there. So we'll let you know when we get to that point. See you guys then. Oh, uh, I think we should do more magic. That's just too much fun. Yeah. Ready? All right. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Our mains still need a few more minutes, so we're just going to set these aside. We're going to play with this stuff here. Ooh, I have been snacking. Uh-huh. I had to make her stop. <laughs> he did. He told me he was eating too much. Mm-hmm. Don't ruin the review, a, Candy, I said. What a rude date. Oh, does that take down any points that I might mm -hmm. have acquired? I only had one going. I don't think you had any. Oh, back to zero. I had one from earlier, but now it's zero. Mm -mm. Hey, but this show's not about butt kissing. It's simply about eating good food. Fresh, good food. It's a uh, date. <laughs> one of the cameras just died. Yeah, it's not that nice. It's all good. It's a late night date night. Free of children, yeah, and no we are kids. tasting tonight brand new MREs, which we are in love with. The same company that made our oh. Workman MRE, Black Dog Surplus. 
Mm. Amazing very products. Good. Super fresh. Very, very good. I really, I had to stop myself from eating more. <laughs> the, one thing we did do to alter the food is I took my knife, and instead of having this lovely, super fresh, it's like really moist, you can feel it. Normally, MRE bread's kind of dry. Is we uh, went ahead and did a little, <laughs> little slice action on it. I have the whole wheat version, I believe you have the bread. Yeah, and I have the white bread version. Mm -hmm. Very it's nice. real dense white bread. It's pretty cool. Hey, do you want a half and a half? Uh, You're going to go purist? Hey, hey. I want it. I want it. Give me, give me, give me. Okay. <laughs> I'll take whatever part you want to flip, flip at me. Oh, you're gonna give me the heel. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you can have mm -hmm. the thick part. I'll take the, the top. Part, all right, let's do some uh, mixing action. I'm going to add my honey nectar. Oh, that's right. Doing some hacks, doing some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Use our spices and integrate that into our tasting. I did want to say while we were uh, fast forwarding, making our uh, mains there, I was just delighted by the crunchiness and the good salty flavor of these corn nuts mm -hmm. um, it was very simple ingredients I think there's four ingredients in these um, the bread uh, fabulous though like a very thick uh, condensed wheat bread was my experience and then the oatmeal cookies are still very crunchy and taste like a delightful oatmeal mm. cookie um, oh. I also did eat one of these delightful vitamin vitamins, and then... Um, How did you describe it? It was like a Tootsie Roll. Uh, it's like a Tootsie Roll Flintstone vitamin, Tootsie Roll Flintstone flavor. Yeah. <clears throat> and not to hype it up, it's a, <laughs> it's a daily ration pill. I mean, it's not like a Tootsie Roll. It's reminiscent of a Tootsie Roll, but it's pretty dang good for what it is. I mean, I could eat all these in one sitting. I thought it was pretty tasty myself. I was not happy with the flavor personally. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting Honestly, it. Yeah. I was hoping for a fruity flavor, but the the like I said, it was very Tootsie Roll esque. You know? I am fruity enough as it is. <laughs> oh, Taking a chocolate myself, uh, black coffee. <laughs> it was a, a a cool experience though. So we're gonna try out some of our honey crystals and use those in some fun new ways. Maybe I might try sprinkling some on my peanut butter and see if the, that goes good on some bread. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. I'm going to do the same thing. All right. Hun all right. Honey powder glazed peanut mm -hmm. butter sandwich. Mm -hmm. And this, we going. mixed up one of the lemon drinks. We're going to save the other one for the kids. They'd be pissed if we didn't share that with uh, them. They're going to be so mad we did this review. Well, they wanted to eat this with us so bad. They're like, damn, I raise. Penny was already up and why? You look so pretty. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I know. I know. And then she gets up another time. Mommy, what are you doing? <laughs> Why do you look so pretty? Nothing to see here. Go back, Go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I don't have sweatpants on and I have my hair not in a ponytail or a bun. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're going uh, spread style. Hey, one thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you guys. Peanut butter is always the bottom of these packs, but the, the ripping, the, the getting the perfect little corner mm -hmm. notch on these things, it's really hard. Mm, sloppy. Yeah, it's hard unless you like cut it with a knife, but then it's like kind of defeats the purpose. Like it'd be cool if you just like rip into your teeth and go and suck it down all easy, but with this ripping thing, it's hard. So I've learned that when you get this little dangle, little hangnail on it, bend that bad boy over oh, and then it good. makes a perfect little. Yeah, I did that too. Well, I kind of watch what you're doing because you're so smart. Aww. It's true though, I am. I'm really smart. You are. I'm the smart one. Well, someone's gotta be. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, they're always the one, right? But, um, when I put out cam, that doesn't count for anything. Yeah. Oh, oops! <laughs> hey, that's right. I wonder if it's gonna be no, crunchy, like I'm... honey, or how it's gonna dissolve in your mouth. I'm actually kind of really curious how that, that plays. I'm gonna let you. I know, I'm excited. Buckshot that <laughs> in your teeth and see how that goes for you. First. I think it's gonna um, get a little liquidy as though it were honey mm -hmm. in its fluid original state. So I'm excited to see. We'll find out. <laughs> what do you think? I don't hear your teeth crunching on it. That's good. Oh, it dissolves really fast. Even in cold, cold beverages. That's cool. It doesn't have to be in a hot beverage to dissolve. 
I think that it would go really well with the peanut butter and the bread if uh, perhaps it were mixed separately with some hot water to make it liquid. Mm. I found that when I got to large pockets, if I sat there with it in my mouth for a minute, it sort of would dissolve into the peanut butter, and that was a really nice mixture. So that would be one way also to stretch the amount of honey um, by adding the hot water to it and re reconstituting it sort yeah, of, I would, yeah, yeah. I would say. I'll, I'll go light on mine then. It was then. good, though. It was good. I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I didn't feel like it was too gritty. I'm going to try a tiny bit in my coffee to see if I can notice mm. that it dissolved mm -hmm. really well in the cold water. I'm curious to see how it does in the... I hate to taint my coffee. <laughs> wow. It's got a, some good sweetening power. All right, so I'm going the, uh, mm. the mix there. I tried the wheat bread. It was excellent. You know, I didn't try any of the white bread. I should try that solo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, Damn. I got a really good honey taste on that last bit there. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Dang. That's crazy good. I'm really enjoying this meal. <laughs> it was a complete meal. My cookies were super good. My fruit mix was super good. This is excellent. The bread's amazing. I'm really surprised. I enjoy the bread too. Uh, it does definitely have that condensed quality to it, but I kind of like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. Mm. I'm not mm. getting the dry pockets with the honey though. No, mm. it, it's uh, moisturizing well. I don't think I went as heavy as you. Mm, that's true. I kind of had a little bit of a spillage. No, it was a bit. Excellent. Let's try one of these pills again. Okay. I think I'm eating like 500%. Well, it says that 24 hours is 12 tablets, and there are oh. six tablets included, so it's a 12 hour amount. Thank God she's here. I would think Basic each one math. of these is for every day, and it's going to last me like a week. Like, yes. A week of food in my pocket. I'd die in three days. Someone's got to be brains. It's like the texture of these candies here. But softer. Mm -hmm. Softer, right? Mm -hmm. That's you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> softer. Doesn't show vitamin. I like them. Mm -hmm. I would eat a whole box of these. <laughs> They're really good. It's like a malted chocolate candy. Mmm. Hmm. That's way good. That's crazy. It does remind me of a chocolate malt ball as well. Compressed. Malt's kind of old school. Not a lot mm -hmm. of people tangle with malt anymore. It's true. We have a uh, little 50s diner down the street from us. And they have really good shakes and malts. Mm -hmm. They are excellent. We won't plug them, though, because they don't give us free stuff. <laughs> they kind of make me sick any time I eat there, but... Yeah, you get, that's what you get you know, when you go to a restaurant. No offense to the young workers, the, you know, the young labor force out there. Oh, no, is this a rant? Oh, man, you go into a restaurant and you see a kid that's barely 16 working behind the counter or cooking... Mm -hmm. And no one else supervising mm -hmm. him? Get out. Why? If not, roll in the dice. Mm -mm. Roll in the dice. Mm -mm. I just had a really big spoon of peanut butter. It's like a dog you gotta... Mm. Anyway. When I was 16, I was a supervisor at an ice cream parlor and a lunch place. And I was very responsible. I worked like 20 hours a week on top of going to school. So, just saying, <laughs> some 16 year olds are competent you know, and won't make you sick. I worked a 30 hour a week job in high school so I could afford 
you know, fun clothes and cool meals and going out at lunch and a vehicle. So I hear you, you know, not dissing everyone. My last name's Workman, though, so. <laughs> Mine is too. Mm. <laughs> 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 I drink your drink. So, I had a really hard time restraining myself from eating all this stuff, and I'm still having mm. a difficult time, and I keep munching, even though I haven't even gotten to my mains. Punching some clones before, while I was getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do the money shot. Worked up an appetite. Ooh, mm -hmm. you still got some for a money shot. May I? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> so I get it for putting my hand in someone else's tray, my bad. Yeah, don't touch, uh, it's like touching someone else's plate, man. No. Mm. I think it's like in the negatives now. I had one, well, it's one point. Ow. Chew, chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> she kicked me under the table. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, our, our meal's done yet. Mm -hmm, Ooh. Mm -hmm. In. Let's, Let's get the mains out. The mains. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking my bags. I want to put them down. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -mm. Okay, Ooh. need bag. I need my bag. It's hot. Keep it in my pockets. Ooh. Now I burn myself. Wear my yeah. jacket. While you're waiting for it to cook, just wear it in your jacket, keep you all warm Ooh, if you're outside. That's a good idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would have wanted to start this very first. We did not. We started opening everything. You know, nobody sue me for when they put this in their jacket and they forget and they fall asleep and it opens up in their jacket and they get burnt. Disclaimer, do not try. Boiling potatoes. Just leave it on the table. That's why it's got to gusset. Mm. <laughs> gusset. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Boom, doesn't even fall over. Boom. Oh, no boom. Don't wake the kids up. No booms. Alright, everyone. Calm down. Ooh, look Bring at you, notch. corn. Bring you ready to go? You ready to go? A little watery looking. Mm. Do I need to spin it out? You got double corn, bro. Not fair. Oh, uh, get off. Oh, alright. I'll share. You have to share. You shared with the kid. So, it's only fair. I think this is going to overflow my, my bit here. Dude, my rice totally looks like rice. I've got a lot of water going on still. Shouldn't that all uh, absorb? Oh. Trip. Maybe it's supposed to have like a uh, brothy. Are they still crunchy? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Maybe it's just excess water to cook them in. Hey, down, spoiling water here. Ooh, yeah, I'm sure it's just excess. Yeah, and that's how I used to make them on the yeah. stove was in water. Chocolate yeah. rice. Oh, is that how you do it? You squeeze it? I'm not trying to spin it out. Oh, you, you can do it however you want. You gotta give me... Throw it the I'm your wife. You gotta give me these tips. So I don't look like a gem gem. I know, you're cool. You can totally... See... There's multiple techniques that you can do, and I thought I would just go this way, and you could try that way. Whatever. Whatever. Spoon it out. <laughs> dum dum. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, my my rice has a slight brown hue to it because I added a soy sauce packet, Boom. and then I added the hot water. Settle mm. down, Ben. Settle down. Oh, I wanted to throw that so bad, but it's got stuck in. No, you can't do that. Ooh, look at those potatoes. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. those are nice. Ooh, <laughs> creamy. I'm from Idaho. I gotta bring it down a lot. I'm getting excited. Mm-hmm. We like potatoes in Idaho. Knows how to cook them. Well, pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, man, look at this rice. I can't believe it. Oh, oh. Felt a little furnace. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Breaking mm -hmm. into it, huh? 
I'm gonna use some of my yeah. my seasonings too. I'm excited. It's like a good steamed rice. Yes. Ooh, can't wait to try yours too. That's really good. Got these nice. Ooh, even dropped some creamy mashed potatoes here. Dang. Oops. Yeah, it's like a good mm. steamed rice. I can't believe it. I'll give it without the uh, soy sauce in it. At first taste, you can taste the soy, and that's all you kind of taste at first is that uh, mm. that nutty soy flavor, and then you get the rice, the really mm. sweet rice. It's not bad, huh? The texture and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm pretty impressed. You wouldn't think this came out of a freeze-dried bag. And that, I would say, we constituted uh, better than, I don't know, for example, like a microwave P.F. Chan's or something, you know, mm -hmm. like those Chinese box mm -hmm. dishes. That rice is better than that. In the very top of it, I don't know if you can see on the camera, the very, this side here is very fluffy as if it came right out of the steamer. And as it goes to the bottom, there's still a little more moisture in it. So this is a little softer, but it's excellent. It's probably where the soy sauce was in heavier, but the stuff up top is just like fluffy sushi rice. Would you like to try my potatoes before I add in some salt, pepper, and the uh, mm -hmm. Italian herb seasoning, which is also the pizza packet? So excited about my rice, I forgot. Yeah, you've got to get your vegetables out mm. still, don't you? Yeah, wow, they're very, those are crazy yeah, they're smooth. very creamy. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Uh, mm. I think I want to say it was only two ingredients or something. I think I have extra liquid with my veggies too, so I believe that is standard to have. A, it's like your steamed vegetable liquid. Wow. Ooh, let's do those. We constituted really well. They're like healthy. broccoli florets out in there too. And the and the the broccoli and beans look delightful. Yeah, I got too much liquid. I didn't do that that clever pour off kung fu. I know that didn't want to open. Right. I didn't either, and so I got a whole bunch of water. Oh, I'm gonna get this open, and it's gonna go flying everywhere. Look at that veg. It's like a steamed veg. It's so wow. Creamy. That's a lot of vegetables, too, so that means that I probably got at least a pile as big as buns of my corn that's still mm -hmm. in the bag, just because I don't have room. I do it to all my other yummies. Let's see. Um, wow. Could you help me open this? I feel like I can't, I can't get it, which uh -huh. is really... Let's, um, let's pause it really quick and tidy up, and we'll be right back. Back! I added the um, Italian herbs and some salt and pepper to my mm. potatoes and drained off the excess liquid in my corn. So I am going to snuggle them up on my spoon there. Look at that. That's like a little... A little snuggle up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you guys a little shot of this rice. Mm hmm Take that out, man. It's like crazy. And the veg looks great. Should I do it up close in mine? Sure. Oh, well, I'll do it from my seat. How's that? I don't really want to get up. Yeah, those but, potatoes look amazing. Yeah, the seasoning too, they're even extra yummy. Talk about comfort food, corn mm -hmm. and mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm, what do we get there? Peanut the butter and jelly. oatmeal cookies, yeah, and the peanut butter and the corn mash. Mm. The fried uh, saltiness of these is, is really a nice comfort food. And the, the home-style cookie. Really enjoy it. Hey, the vegetables, up. how are mm -hmm. they? Yeah? Can I sample? Please, the dehydrated vegetables are a trip. I'm excited. No, it's, yeah, it's like, Let me get in the, there. The technology has gotten so much better. Wow, I mean, I see mushrooms, corn, broccoli, peas, and a green bean all in the same little spoonful here. They look really nice. Yeah. They don't look mushy. They look like they held up well. Yeah, the peas do not even taste like canned peas. They have like a textural crunch of a fresh pea that was steamed. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's nuts. The canning process really diminishes the plant's fiber. And even like these peas, they're yes. still plump and have a casing on them. I want to sample these one by one. It's hard. I took mm -hmm. a mouthful with all of them, and uh, yeah. it was it was all really good. But uh, then I couldn't mm -hmm. see the uh, taste and tactile mm -hmm. difference. Wow! It doesn't even need well. I'm a veg head, so I probably wouldn't salt or pepper this. I love it just the way it is, but some of them might want a, a light seasoning on it, but it's super good. What seasoning? Oh, you got all the same ones. Mm -hmm. And on the front of the packs, it says that too, season to taste. A little soy sauce on the rice, perfect. 
little salt, pepper on the veg mixed with this. Eating, eating them together, mixing them up together. Mm, mm -hmm. The mushrooms aren't the most flavorful, but they did reconstitute very well as far as their texture. Um, they're not mushy and they're not soggy or slimy. Mm. Um, but they are just a little watery tasting. Broccoli and mushrooms have a good source of protein, so does the corn. All these vegetables are broccoli. super nourishing. They're great for you. And mm -hmm. again, an mm. MRE, when you get seasoned vegetables in an MRE, this is crazy. That broccoli is really good. That's that's as good as a frozen broccoli, at least I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Try, try with a little bit of the soy rice. The soy rice, like, explodes the flavor. All, um, all of these flavors are at least as good, if not better than, in my opinion, a frozen dinner would be. Mm -hmm. Like, I compared oh, sure. it to a, the boxed Asian rice. Uh, An easy meal you could get at the grocery store or something. Yeah, something mm -hmm. you would pick up in the frozen aisle. Um, to come microwave. This or... is better than that. It has a five-year shelf life. That's what's amazing. That's what's awesome <laughs> about these uh, MREs uh, by Black Dog. Mm. And the dehydrated mains, even longer. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they say, like, I, I don't want to quote for the company, but I, I would say, like, 15 years. They, they, they might even say, like, seven years. You know, I don't know exactly how long the company guarantees it. Look at any of the other reviewers that we've linked down below. For one example, Steve1989 has gone through a million antique rations. And he the dehydrated mains always hold up wonderfully. And so this uh, easily exceeds a five-year shelf life. Some of the sides might not do as well. Like, the cookies might get a little stale. A few things might get stale past that five-year shelf life. But this is definitely something you want to pick up and put in your emergency storehouse. I would I would keep these in our uh, to go box. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Our box that we keep in the van to go. Vegetables and rice. Who doesn't like that? Mashed potatoes and corn. Easy food. Mm hmm. A lot of allergen uh, free. Good amount of calories. The mm -hmm. the nutrients are there uh, in the supplement form as well as in oops I'm sorry uh, as well as in the meals itself. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it, I was, all around great. I was reading test. all the ingredients too, and both of these meals are 100%. I can't say 100%, minus the tablets and the honey packs. These are the only two things that aren't considered vegan. Everything else in this meal is vegan, also. There's no dairy products in this meal. There's some so, uh, dairy solids for the proteins in these protein pills. Mm -hmm. And of course, the honey, a lot of people consider a non vegan mm -hmm. item. I, I myself enjoy honey. I'm probably not a vegan truest, and obviously I enjoy MREs and taste a lot of those. But generally, on, a, on an average day, our, one of our favorite staples is black beans and rice mm -hmm. with seasonal vegetables that we grill up or roast in the oven. It's just, it's just the bomb. And we'll add a protein like uh, well, the black beans, for example, and the rice are a complete protein. And so you get things that are balanced with cre complete proteins and fats like this. In an emergency situation, sometimes you don't have time to steep the food and sit down. So you can just grab a couple things out, like these pills or one of the bars, or some of the snack foods, until you have time to sustain yourself, uh, figure out what's going on, and then sit down to a nice man like this. This would be awesome. This would, like, I don't know, boost my morale huge if I had something like this. It's always good to know that you and your family are well taken care of. That's something mm -hmm. that was part of why we got into the MRE mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> it being about emergency preparedness, um, because there's always disasters, and it seems like you hear about them more and more, and maybe that's just because that's what we hear about, but um, Ben and I wanted to make sure that our family was taken care of for, if we needed be, uh, months, and that's what got us into this. We started researching mm -hmm what prepackaged uh, vegetarian options were out there, and there really weren't any. Um, not many worth speaking about, I should say. There are s mm -hmm. some, but the mm -hmm. components are pretty junk foody. I mean, you can put so much macaroni and cheese and jarred spaghetti sauce. I mean, we have a couple totes out in the garage that don't go in the vehicle. The vehicle is more of a condensed, and one of my, our first videos we did, it was the family 24-hour emergency box or 48-hour emergency box, and that's transformed like eight times since then. And now it's transformed into a box about this big, and it's all condensed, dehydrated foods. 
and that's something we would take in the vehicle with a bunch of jugs of water and some other heating elements and it's all compact and fits in a small space in the vehicle now it doesn't take up a lot of space or weight and so we've really dialed it in and these meals now that bob's come out with these i'm gonna have to pull that damn thing out and repack the entire thing now yeah you are <laughs> <laughs> Too too good. Way too good to not have on hand. It's one of those things that <clears throat> it's just nice to have good food mm -hmm. when you're in a crummy situation or a hard up time. Or on a delightful date with your spouse. Mm-hmm. 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 I mean, it came with coffee and candy, dessert, entrees. The Cookies. snacks, too. Mm -hmm. As uh, Ben was saying, you know, you could totally take the, the corn nuts out of this one and the cookies. And then when you do have the opportunity to get your mains together, enjoy those. Or enjoy the peanut butter and bread as a lunch. You could really break this ration up and split it out if you had to. Um, especially mm -hmm. with the amount of calories that is in, in, in the ration itself, even though it's, uh, I think, listed as a 12 hour. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe so. Um, the, even though it's listed as a 12 hour ration, you could stretch it out if you needed to over 12 or 24 hours or more, I Just would say. Just these pills right here alone, these themselves are enough to sustain you. I mean, I could live on these for a couple of days if I was taking care of, let's pretend we're in a, a vehicle. That's what kind of got us started is traveling out of state back and forth during the holidays. You get stuck on a snowy, crappy road and there's no communication, no way to get out. I'm going to be, like, digging the family in igloo. I'm going to be working my butt off 24-7, or, God forbid, that long, 24-3, 24 hours a day, three days straight. Like, I'm not going to stop moving, keeping them warm and safe. So, like, things like this would be awesome. I wasn't even expecting to see these in here. I mean, I'm not going to use, like, water purification tablets. We got means to filter and boil water in our little emergency kit. But stuff like this, I don't even think to pack stuff like this. These are great. I mean, I can't get past these vegetables. This is blowing my mind. And he obviously won, Bob. Yes, you won the rice challenge, dude. Winner! First shot after the uh, the the gauntlet was thrown down. It wasn't even like knocked a week. out of the park. Not even yeah. like a week after we posted that video, he was like, "Hey, I got a, a box for you guys." We are so excited and, uh, to pull these out today. Any, anything Bob sends us, we know it's good news. I've never got a bad component, and I've never had to wait very long. <laughs> ever like uh, uh, three days i think it was the max we've had to wait for anything you really can't us. say enough good things mm -hmm. if you're going to um oh. pursue a ration that's current that's mm -hmm. the place to go and we have his uh information posted below i'm still getting you know putting links and all that fun stuff up top as soon as i get that figured out you'll see a bunch of fun pop-ups that you can just click right on but until then um yeah, this is us. We're going to go into fast forward mode and enjoy our meal. I feel like I'm talking and not enjoying this. The hot sauce is amazing, by the way. Nice vinegar kick. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten into the pizza seasoning mm. or the salt and pepper yet. I did mix the uh, pizza seasoning, aka Italian herb seasoning, mm. all throughout my potatoes. Oh, yeah. And I added the salt and pepper as well. It's delightful. It's that really nice. Yeah, go ahead. Get in there. It's creamy. I blush every yum. time she says that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. You can taste the herbs. The mm -hmm. herbs are like blooming in the mashed they're, potatoes. They're so fresh that the moisture wow. from from reconstitution of the potatoes brings out all this flavor. These are fresher herbs than we herbs. have in our own stores in the house. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, exactly. You know what's funny about that is that a lot of times the herbs that you use for cooking are so old, the mm -hmm. dates on them. And you've had the seal freshness lit off for like a year and a half, two years. Who goes through a whole jar of oregano in like right? a year? Nobody. Right? Sitting on your space rack for yeah. five years. That stuff goes bad in like a month as soon as you open it. Seriously, it loses all of its potency, any kind of nutritional value, any kind of like essence or elements you're trying to get from the plant if you're to steep it or use it for teas or whatever it's always gone. nice to buy to buy or have in your garden fresh of course but uh mm -hmm. if you're in an mre situation and, or just having uh, a, a bunch of individually sealed herbs packets so you can mm -hmm. use like once a month for a big soup or something that's the way to go true if you um had a tote of these stored mm -hmm. you could um Combine different components to feed your family and say, oh, we're having mashed potatoes in this one night and mm -hmm. use the components from one part and another 
to make a different dish, mm -hmm. a, a mashup. Oh, for sure. I would love the corn and the rice. And mm -hmm. you can have the veggies and the mashed potatoes. We could do a little switch switch with uh, certain items like what we did at the wheat bread. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't really add anything to this. You know, it's got all the sweet. It's got all the savory. Mm -hmm. If it had like a jam or another sweet in it, I think it would... Oh, I haven't even seen, I haven't even really hit the candy. We yeah. haven't even hit the candy yet at mm -hmm. the end, too, so. There's the candy, and um, so yeah. the honey crystals are uh, really amazing on the peanut butter. Yeah, they I were. I actually think I'm going to sprinkle those in there so that I, I do, uh, don't waste them. And if you haven't had the MRE peanut butter, it's excellent. It's just like mm. the, the herb packets. It's super fresh because it's individually sealed. It's not in a big jar. Like, we, use a, we eat a big tub because we have a big family, and we eat a lot of peanut butter. Every single day? Yeah, I mean, after about a week of that thing being open, it starts to <laughs> have that dusty oil flavor. I don't know how to describe it when, when peanut butter gets older. It's you know? always good. <laughs> I actually, uh, I try to buy smaller jars now because that is, um, it gets funky after a while. But back to the MRE pouches, they're amazing. It's like a good skippy peanut butter, basically. It's they're really in the pouch, cool. they're really good. So with that honey crystal on there, it's just like, wow. It's not bland, yeah, but it's not too sweet either. Hmm. I say. Hmm. Yeah, that rice is really good. White rice, like I said, it's just Isn't like it? a. It's even better than frozen section. Yeah. Microwave mm -hmm. kind of Asian cuisine. These vegetables are like sweet and juicy, like they're crazy good. My corn didn't hydrate as well as I had hoped. Like it's still a little wrinkly. Mm -hmm. It's got a fairly good texture. Like it's plump, mm. but it's not really like as plump and mm -hmm. firm as you would hope. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit flat. Yeah, this this, this corn held it better probably because of all the other veggies with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Want to have another bite? Mm -hmm. I want to eat another one of these really good. Mm, cool candies. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I used to sneak up into the um, bathroom cabinet. I just stand on the counter to get there. And again, the Flintstone vitamins. And eat like five vitamins in a row. <laughs> so gross, but like so good. That like vitamin fruity flavor. Mm hmm. Chalky. They are excellent. Man, these were re even better. Tootsie Roll. I can't get over this rice and the vegetables. Seriously. It's not, it was not an MRE. It, it's weirding me out. It's, it seemed like we snuck in civilian, fresh made civilian food into an MRE. It is. It's funny. Uh, we, we plated up some takeout. Mm -hmm. Seriously. With some uh, traditional rationing ingredients thrown in, like they like, like, call them the compressed bread mm -hmm. and what have you. The Just like dense, like, a, like, like a Dave's Killer Bread. I don't know uh, where you are when you, where you watch this, but if you've had your mother make a bread, usually they don't use as much risers, and so the breads will be nice and dense and hearty. That's what these are like. They're just wonderful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it's soggy. It's a good, it's a good compressed. My dogs always see part of the ration. Not tonight. No, I think I'm going to keep working on mine too, but I didn't want to make everyone else have to just watch me drag on my eating at my slow pace. You're so, so beautiful. You might as well just do your thing. Uh, 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 it's not awkward at all. Um... Well, we're going to have to get that audio book done for Asger one of these days. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's the theme you want? That's right. Tell me, Asger, your favorite story or novel, and I will give you your own personal audio book, if you would like. <laughs> uh, you were so kind as to, to give me a very nice compliment comparing my voice to that of the sirens. And a gentleman always. You, you are my friend. Thank you. Hey, uh, and this is like top-notch, amazing dish again from Black Dog Supply. Mm. This was crazy good. I was I, watching. Oh, sorry, go ahead, dear. I do. I want to add some of these to to the car now. Oh, they're amazing. They're super good. Seriously, you don't think they're MREs at all? It, it blew your, except for the accessory pack. You get the accessory pack. You're like, okay, I'm eating an MRE. Give me a brown bag. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not tripping. It is very nice though to have uh, such good foods. When you are in an emergency situation. Because, I mean, after all, that's what these rations are are really about. 
yes, we're enjoying them on our date night tonight, but uh, the situations that you would typically need a pack like this would be maybe camping or uh, an emergency situation. This this is a, a super fancy TV dinner. Like if you have this for a TV dinner or join mm -hmm. us for a date night one of these times, uh, get one on the link down below. Get a hold of Bob and meet us next time for a uh, date night. Um, thank you so much for joining Fed and I for another uh, date night, late night MRE. Get free night. Get free. Woo -woo. Uh, click like, comment, subscribe. That little bell down at the bottom if you want to click that little bell, wherever that's at. Notifications. Yeah, Aww. I'll let you know when we're uh, getting ready to have a date night. And if you want to find us on emeryinfo.com, we usually give everyone a heads up a day or two before and let them know when this video is coming out so they can get prepared and get their MREs ready. Thanks for being with us tonight, everyone. Animal free MRE. Oh, my fuck. Da, da, da. <laughs> Quick clean end. I like it. Mm, love you. Mm, my cornets. Oh, love me. My cornets like a pig now. Just by the hand pull, stuff them in my mouth hole. Ah, nom, 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 nom. Oh, my God.